Ryan Mitchell with Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Today I'm on a site in Baldwin County, Alabama. I'm going to demonstrate how to calibrate a ATV sprayer and then apply some herbicide to treat this cogon grass behind me. Research from Auburn shows the best time of the year to treat cogon grass is May and October. An important reminder, before applying herbicides, be sure to read the label and follow all PPE guidelines. Remember, the label is the law. Beginning with clean water in the tank, turn on your sprayer and measure the spray width. For this sprayer, it's 32 feet. To ensure good coverage, we want to use 80 to 85 percent of that, which is what we call the effective spray width. So multiplying 32 feet by 82 percent, we get 26 feet. Since we're calibrating based on a tenth of an acre, we take 43,560 square feet and divide it by 10. That leaves us with 4,365 square feet. We're going to divide that by our effective spray width of 26 feet and we get 167 feet, which is the length of our course. As you can see here, I've laid out a tape measure that is 167 feet long and put an orange cone at the end. We're going to make three passes along this terrain representative of what we're spraying and average the time. Use a bucket to catch the water. Turn on the sprayer for the amount of time it took you to cover the course. You will pour this into a graduated cylinder to measure the ounces. We ran the sprayer for 26 seconds and ended up with 164 ounces in our bucket. Well, since we we're calibrating based on a tenth of an acre, we multiply that number by 10, which is 1640. Then we also divide it by 128 ounces in one gallon. That gives us 12.81 gallons. Since we're calibrating based on an acre, we're applying 12.81 gallons of solution per acre at that speed. It's difficult to maintain a steady speed to utilizing an ATV to do spraying, but do your best. If you're using a tractor sprayer, it's much easier because you set the RPMs and it stays steady. We're going to go ahead and mix up a batch of glyphosate here to treat this cogon grass. We can use between 4 and 7% solution. You can also use a mazapir, but I caution you, a mazapir is much less forgiving. If you have any desirable trees or shrubs around, especially any oaks or old pine trees, might want to avoid using a mazapir because it's soil active and can kill those trees. Thanks for joining me today. If you guys have any questions, post them below. Have a great day.